Good day, dear Tango friends. Today, I would like to show you pattern Rota Mirrored by Verena Bossert. I saw a pattern, I, I can't recall in which group it was, but I thought, well, that's a cool pattern. And, well, I thought it might look complicated to some people. So I thought, well, let's make a video. It starts off with a squared grid in pencil like this. And on the the, the, the crosses, <laughs> I don't know how you call that, you draw dynamic squares like this. And you skip one cross and you might be helpful to point out the center of each line so you get them nicely even. Dynamic squares squares are squares standing on the point. And if not, if stand like this, they called stable uh, squares. We skip this one and draw the next one here. Yes. The next step is to draw uh, lines from each side of the square to this center point. I'll show you. So they form a triangle. It might help to mark out that point so you know where to go to with your lines. So first, according to the step outs of Verena, she draws those lines to these, to these centers. The next thing she does, well, it's actually, it's a CPT technique, which is called folded. You start in one line, we start in the diamond shapes and draw one line and the next one ends here. So two lines on each side, here two and there two. We do the same in the next diamond shape, one, two, three, four, and in the next one, one, two, three, four. Well, this one I'll leave because it's, well, I, of course I can do it a bit, but it's not so nicely because it's a, it's a half one. And the next one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll fill it in. Well, let's say the two rows fill fill. I will fill in like her step out, and below I will do well. Not sure yet what, but I will do something else. And we do the same on the other side. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. And in the diamond shapes, which are landscape, we do the same, but it's easier when you turn your tile. Next thing she does, well, you got these dynamic squares, which are divided in four. Well, 
two of them she gives stripes from top to bottom and the other ones like this so Uh, sorry, not that one, this one. Well, let's fill it in. Not so we don't get confused. That's easy. Filling in. Pity I can't erase uh, the marker. So this one. And the final so this is the way Verona Fiorena sorry Bossert showed her step out of Rota mirrored by Fiorena Bossart. Now let's see what I can do with it. Draw C lines. With a sparkle, for instance. This dynamic where we can draw a squared spiral and draw the lines like this. Well, you can embellish it with, with, with so much. You can draw a drop shape with some expense, expanding. You can draw another triangle in there, a smaller one, well, you can make a new square and another dynamic one. And if you dare another square, you can draw little bows. Three on each side. Oh, maybe some sea lines over here. Three. And three over there. Filling in this one for some contrast. So it's just to give you some ideas. Now let me shade Verena's um, design. Blacken this one too. I want to keep this one lighter than this one, so I don't use uh, put graphite. I just use the graphite which is al already in my paper stump. Rota mirrored. I like this pattern. I like it because it has so many opportunities to embellish. Well, thank you, Verena, <clears throat> for this lovely pattern. Wishing you a happy day, happy tangling. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.